Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to uh, Grace Point Community Church. Magandang umaga, malo talofa. This is the day that the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. In 1 Thessalonians 5.8, give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for those who are in Christ. I want to highlight the word give thanks in all circumstances because it never says there we just have to give thanks when we are happy or we were are sad or when we are you know in such trial or suffering or when we are joy or plenty blessing it says there's in all circumstances so when you even like when you're happy when you are sad we have to thanks God for everything. Just like this pandemic that we are suffering, we don't have to whinge or worry about it. We have to thank God because if you will look in a positive way, this the time that everyone have to pray and acknowledge that there is God. That above all, He is still God and His name is above the name of this COVID-19. The name of Jesus Christ have to be acknowledged everywhere. And we thank the Lord because we're still here. We're still breathing. This is a new day, Sunday. And we just have to come and pray and thank Him for everything. There will be these circumstances or crisis or pandemic we call. But we call the name of Jesus. The name that is above all names. So, uh... Again, magandang umaga po and welcome to Grace Point Community Church. Let's pray. Lord, we come together, Lord God, in your name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day, a beautiful day, Father God. And whatever been happening in this world, Lord, that we can come together and praise you and glorify your holy name, Father God. I pray, Lord God, for the protection of everyone, Lord. Uh, wherever they are, whatever nation or whatever country we are on, whatever situation, Father God, thank you. Because I know, Lord God, your protection, your mercy, your forgiveness, your grace is there with us. In this mighty name I pray, amen. Hallelujah, God. We're going to continue to praise him because he is a God of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. He never changes. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Let's praise him.
the wall with pain and then as this Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. With the Holy Spirit is with us as we continue to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus Christ. Good morning church. How are you this morning? May the Lord bless your heart as we open up the scriptures and receive his word. So I want to encourage you church, this morning comes from the, the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 to 17. This is the word of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, do not be partner with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as students of light. For the fruits of the light consist in all goodness and righteousness and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminates becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful that how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish. 
but understand what the Lord's will is. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, this morning. We open up your word and your scriptures, O Lord. Open our hearts and our ears to receive from you, O Lord, this morning. Yes, I also pray for our church members and our families and friends, those who are listening online, O Father. Bless them. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, this book of Ephesians, chapter 5, that this Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus, that he reminded to the people, to the church in Ephesus, that they are the children of God. And Paul reminded to them that they... And he says, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. You know, as we live in this world, seems like the world is drifted away from God. But the scriptures reminds us this morning that who we are. We are the children of God. We are the followers of Jesus Christ. And Paul is says that you are the light of this world. We are the children of light. When Jesus Christ lives in you, then you will become the light of this world. He also, Paul reminded to us in verse 16, and he says, Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. You know, as we watch the news, the media, some documentary, we saw that the scientists and people believe and call themselves the experts that they know it all. And they warn the world with the global warming, the sea level is rising, the climate change, and we now see the economy collapse, the spread of virus and disease, the rise in power of the Chinese Communist country, the terrorists wants to take over the world. And the warning signs seems like the Third World War. We can see now that what is coming into our world, it's not promising any good outcome. It creates fear among people. It creates fear to everybody in this world. But as you and me as Christians, as the followers of Jesus, I've got the good news for you. There is hope in Jesus Christ. There is hope in Jesus Christ, church. You see, God did not create fear in this world. We remember as, as a Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of the sound mind. We don't deny what is coming. We know what is coming into our world now. But the Word of God says, don't be afraid. You know, some people say that they create fear because they want to control and have power. They want to control and power over people's life. We don't ignore the fact, church. We don't pretend that everything is good and all right. It is okay to see the truth for what is becoming in this world that we live. But the Word of God was there in the beginning. That's why the Gospel of John it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. There is hope in Jesus Christ Church. Why did Jesus came into our world? I have a few things to share, share with you this morning. As also was mentioned in the book of Ephesians, we are the light. Jesus came into this world. He came to be the light. 
The world was filled with darkness, spiritual darkness. Then Jesus came to bring light. So as we witness the world today, drift away from the light of God. Don't be afraid. Why? Because if Jesus is with us, if Jesus is with you, we have the light. We are the light of this world. When Jesus spoke to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. You see, church, God is the light. In him there is no darkness. The world without Jesus, like the room with no light. Jesus Christ live in us, then we become the light of this world. We are also the light of this world, church. To be the light for this world, as Jesus called us, do not light your candle and put under the bed, but light and put on the lamp stand. So Jesus came to be the light. Jesus came to save the world. It's in the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. You know, and it says, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sin. What a beautiful name of Jesus. Save from what? He saved us from the penalty of sin. We all sin and fall short the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But Jesus died on the cross to wipe away all our sin. There is no other past, present and the future that can save us but only Jesus Christ. That's why the scripture says that Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except through him, Jesus. So not only Jesus came to be the light, he came to save the world, but he also came to give us hope. Right now we need a lot of hope. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 19. For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ when he comes? We are in this world. We are facing problems and what is happening around us today. Lift up your head. There is hope. In Jesus Christ because he came to give us hope the only hope of this world is Jesus if anyone offer you any hope apart from Jesus do not be deceived we have hope in the return of our Lord Jesus Christ yes this world is heading for destructions and it's nothing we can do about it you might say, I don't think so. But tell me why the book of Revelation said there will be new heaven and new earth. Revelation chapter 21 verse 1, it says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away, and there was no longer any sea. Church, our hope is in Jesus' return. When he comes back, he will take us away from this world. That's why the scripture talks about the rapture. We will all meet him in the air. So not only Jesus, that he came to be the light, he came to save the world and he came to give us hope. But he came to give us life. The famous scriptures that we all know, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him will not perish but have the everlasting life. It seems like that we've been learning that this world will come to an end. 
if the world will not finish while I am still alive, but I know for sure one day I will not go in to see the sun anymore. So not only that, Jesus came to be the light, He came to save the world, He came to give us hope, He came to give us life. Jesus says there will be eternal life, everlasting life. But that life, we can only find that in Jesus. That's why we come to church, belong to a church. You see, every day you worship the Lord. Every day you help someone in need. Every day you feed the homeless. Every day you visit someone and pray for someone. Every day you show kindness. Every day you share the gospel to someone. You are invested in God's kingdom. So thank you, church. Thank you, brothers and sisters in the Lord. That's the encouragement for us this morning. There is hope in Jesus Christ. He came to be the light. He came to save the world. He came to give us hope. And He came to give us life, eternal life. We are looking forward to see you next Sunday. Thank you for joining in this morning. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for my friends, brothers and sisters, our church members, oh Lord. Thank you for their time. Let your word be the word that will encourage us throughout this week. So we give all the glory and honor to your name, O oh Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen.